Thinky relaxes an exaggerated guess, pointing to the tracks. Students are running now. They obviously finished warming up while we were talking. Oh, she seems to be doing well. Who is it? Pink includes her throat. So as you can see, this is Star Wars Academy award-winning track and field area. Only the best of the best from other schools can complete this track and our students that use it always put up their best performance. So she's just, so she's just going to ignore Twilight's question then? A lot of things here at Star Wars, Star Wars are some of the best around, but track team is one of the more well-known ones. Star Wars comes in first place almost every year. Wonderbolts, maybe? Almost every year? Yeah, almost. Usually we win first, but last year we got second place. Still does not interest Nisa. So as with reputation just seems to keep growing and growing. That's quite that's quite reputation. Is that why students always seem to be working so hard? You could say that. I think they know just how much it means to the school to try and be the best at what they do. If you watch closely, you can see determination in every pony's everyone's <laughs> every pony's everyone's face. They don't even want to keep the winning streak going. Looking at the students, students running, I can tell Pink is telling the truth. All of them look determined to make it to the end, to the end, or the better than they currently are. That's an interesting sight to behold, especially considering even if I had my own goals, they would be, ne they wouldn't be nearly that lofty, lofty or whatever. Oh, uh, I watch this, watch this. I think she's going to try and beat her own record. Pinky points us in the direction of a specific student. It's easy to figure out who she talking about. The girl's rainbow hair stands out in the crowd. The nearly nearby cloud coach raises their stand at the pistol and bang! The girl flies from her starting position. I must admit, I must admit, I don't think I've ever seen someone move that fast in person before. Only a moment later, she crossed the finish line, and the coach marks her time. Whoa, she really moves fast. Racing is her life. Honestly, I don't think she thinks about anything here other than racing. She kind of has a one-track mind at times. Sounds like two of them have a lot in common. Oh, look, she has a moment. Oh, look, like she has a moment. Dash, dashy, dashy. That's funny. My little dashy. That reminds me of the fanfic. My little dashy. Pink suddenly yells out, waving her arms frantically, frantically. The girl with, ram with rainbow hair nods and jogs over. I am staring at this rainbow dash and it seems rather weirdly to me, her design, to be honest. But, uh, I'll let bygones be bygones. But what surprises me now is the. is how she. of her outfit. I mean, I saw a lot of animes. I watched a lot of animes in my time. And they never really sure showed some. this. that's much part of the skin. There are mil they, what they what I saw they use in animes was like, sh no, what are they called? T-shirts, some sort. But anyway, oh hey Pinky, class is over for you already. I was so busy training I didn't even notice. Yep, classes are done for today. But I did find these two new students outside the main building, so I was going to give them a tour of Star School. The old Pinkie Pie Grand Tour Deluxe, eh? It's, it's certainly been a while. Yep, I think they're transferring just now to. Tom, Twilight, this is Rainbow Dash. <laughs> nice to meet you, Rainbow. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Aren't there any males in this school, I'm wondering? So, you two are what? Third year? Fourth. Whoa, you two are nuts. Well, she certainly lives up to her name. I didn't think it was possible to lag that much subtly about yourself. But sometimes, about her demeanor, just screamed that she is the very subtle person to begin with. I guess she's talking about Twilight or Rainbow Ash? Well, hey, what brings you guys to Star School then? Well, the academy is mostly. Well, the academics mostly. So I will, Star School was pretty much my dream school. Though I couldn't afford to come here sooner. I'm just happy I could make it for my senior year. Senior year. Uh, I'll get here for the cam academics as well. I hope you can learn a lot. <laughs> I don't think that's entirely a lie. Though I'm not that. Though I'm not. Though I'm really not all that interested in learning too much. Near am I. What can you do? Well, that's cool. If you guys are thinking about joining the track team, though I'll know I'll do it now rather than later. Competition is looking to be pretty tough this year, and we're going to need to do some extra training if we're going to keep it up. Well, thank you. 
But I'm alright. Racing isn't exactly my thing. I probably read more. I've probably read more about racing than I ever experienced it. Yeah. And I don't think if I don't think if running is what I'll be interesting and uh, interesting. Well, so yourself. Not like I'll be not like I'll matter too much anyway. I'll have to go for the very top. I won't start for anything else. Well I wish you luck in your goal then. Thanks. I'm gonna go head back to training. See you around, Pinky. With a quick turn of her heels. Yeah, her heels. She's jogging back to the track field. Seems her mind really is focused on training. She was nice. Oh yeah, Dashi and me are best best as a friends. We hang out all the time. If you ever if you ever get a chance to, you should get to know her more. Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie, that's all I can see. Applejack and Rarity. I mean it's that thing they give their own flares. I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. You know, this year has certainly been interesting, but I can't help but feel like we're forgetting something. Um, hey Pinky. Hmm? What was it, Twilight? As much as much fun as it was. As been. Are we close to Headmaster's office yet? I don't want us to be running late. Pinky just stands for a moment, blinking almost absent mindedly at Twilight's P Pinky? She forgot. Okay, bubble bubble. Oh, silly me! W what? We want the opposite way to the headmaster's office. Ha ha ha! Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Is the question. Pinky, that's not funny. Sorry about that. I was just having so much. I was having so much showing you guys around. I was just having so much showing you guys around that I totally forgot why we were doing this in the first place. There was supposed to be fun here. I know that for sure. Ah, we're going to be late. Oh, don't worry. I promise I'll take you straight there in this time. You get to your meeting right on time. With that, Pinky begins bounding back towards the main building, leaving a frustrated twilight in her wake. I'm tempted to let out one of my usual quips, but I know that looks on twilight's face. What a wrong world tonight. I'll even be feeling my arm for a week. Rather than instigate her wrath, I will follow after Pinky. And and I suppose that covers the basic stuff. This leads to Celestia's office, but oh, you guys should really see the cafeteria. It's got tons of great menus and food. You really should check it out for a lot. Pinky! She's still holding her composure for most of the part, but I can tell when Twilight's on the edge. Thank you for the tour, but now we just need to see the headmaster. Her voice sounds as straightened as she looks. Well, of course, so you're new here, so that means you should get a lay of the land first. If you don't, you get lost, or worse, confused. But now you have a basic idea of where everything is, I guess. Ah, too close. Pinky is slowly in my face, her grin stretching from ear to ear. I swear I can see her eyes sparkling. So pretty cool, huh? What do you think? Uh, it's, um... What do I think? What do I think? Well, honestly, it's still too much taken. Doesn't help that I was just dragged around campus. That didn't even make me remember everything, in fact. Just confused me more. <laughs> also, I'm getting the feeling that substantially of personal space, the subtilities of personal space go right over this girl's head. It, it's cool. Nicer than my old school. It wasn't a question, but it came out as one. As ign invigorating as Pinkie Spirit is, I think I really need some time away from her right now. I'm being overwhelmed with everything as it is. She's really not helping me comfortable. Twilight's panicked voice doesn't help either. We're gonna be so late! My thoughts are broken by Twilight's yelp. In a flash, she seizes my wrist and yanks me away before I can even react. My eyes are dark between Pinkie and Twilight. Trying to figure out what just happened, Pinky just smiles and waves at my hapless body as Twilight drags me away. I don't even have a chance to wave back. That's the funny part. What the heck, Twilight? What, what a sudden rush. I try to, to free my wrist, but she's got in a deadlock. Dead hold. For someone who doesn't get too much physical exercise, she has a strong grip. Might be her reading hand. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. We're supposed to be here five minutes ago. She grumbles at me, mumbling something under her breath that I can't quite hear. I said the less light. Five minutes, is that all? You need to calm down, Twilight. I'm sure she'll understand. Besides, didn't you say you know her? She stops and tightens her grip on my wrist. 
on my wrist for a moment before letting it go and turning to face me. The look on her face tells me I'm about to be scolded. Never face to face, all the more reason to be on time. The headmaster values discipline and structure, not to mention she puts a lot of faith in me by letting me into this academy. I won't disappoint her on the first day. Oh, come on, Twad. She believes in you so much. She's going to. She's going. She's not going to hold five minutes against you. Twice takes a short moment to catch her breath and raise her hand to knock the door before stopping. Her hand then goes up and starts start straightening her hair and patting down her clothes. I want to comment that she's only delaying us further, but sometimes, but something tells me I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> she keeps flinging with every little detail, detail on her uniform to make sure it's right or proper. It's actually starting to get on my nerves. But before I have a chance to chew her out for it, her voice drifts to the, to the door ahead of us. Do come in, Twilight. Twilight does the, does the exact same opposite, freezing in place like a deer in the headlights. My own. Attention turned to the door, surprised to be found so easily, but also having to be having to hold back a chuckle at the headmaster's remark. Poor Twilight, she can't even seem to catch a break today. I prefer not to repeat myself. This is Princess Celestia. Twilight can't get through the door fast enough. Burl burling inside, she already stammering and find her inhabity an ability to run. To rattle of a hundred excuses simultaneously. Okay, so burling aside, she's already stammering and finding her inability to rat rattle of a hundred excuses Simon Simon Simon. Oh my God, I haven't I haven't promised speaking today. Simultaneously, I don't understand most of what's coming out of her mouth. Nor do I think I should really try. <laughs> she abruptly slants by the headmaster's raised hand. Please take a seat, both of you. As I look around, I can't help but notice how huge Celestia's office is. The walls curving inwards like the top half of egg show are lined with books that seem to have come from all over the world. Compared to the hallway outside, it's like walking into an auditorium built for one person. I quickly follow Twilight to the headmaster's desk, sitting in one of two orientally decorated chairs in front of it. It's surprisingly comfortable. I'm so, so sorry we're late, Headmaster, we just got caught up with- I understand, Twilight, and I've told you before, Celestia is fine. How long have we been talking? Yes, Headmaster. I'm pretty sure I can hear Celestia sigh, or maybe just, or maybe it's just seemed that way from how her shoulders gently shag sagged. She then turns to look at me. And you're Tom, correct? Something tells me that I should probably be quaking my boots like Twilight after all. So I will start school it is the most prestigious school around here, and Celestia is at the top. However, looking into Celestia's eyes, I can help but feel comforted. It's kind of the same color as Twilight's, but that's me. She seemed to give off a kind of soothing vibe rather than a harsh one. She carries herself she carries herself less like a principal, more like a mother. Isn't that how she looks at me right now? Yeah, I'm transferred. With, with Twilight, of course. With a sudden grace, she raises from her chair and walks around to the front of the desk. She employs her hand on it, support it for support before leaning up against it. I'm familiar with Twilight's reason for transferring, but I'm afraid I've not heard anything from you beyond the dry texts of this application letter. I'm not mean to insult your writing. It was a fine letter. It just I just prefer to hear things in your own words. Uh, I'm just gonna pause this right now. Another one! Yay! I feel like I'm making episodes for this randomly. Thank, thank you for watching.